Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge on Cyrene yet again. Yes. And today I want to bring you a very quick video highlighting why you should come to Cyrene, even if you're not a noob, even, but I, I'm telling you noobs, you should come here due to Cyrene's proximity to Calypso, which is very, very close, as close as Monria. And because even though it seems like the economy is, um, not as ramped up, uh, just by cursory observation, I'm going to show you why that actually isn't true, why there is actually a very healthy economy here, and you can actually profit at lower levels because there are so many noob missions here that allow you access to things that actually have markup, and that you all you have to become is auction house savvy. So let's get to it. Let's go and take a look at some of these things that have really good markup and are available to noobs like me. In other videos, I have detailed the daily missions that you can do here on Siren, one of which is a daily miling challenge, which you need to mine up some yellow crystals, some green crystals, some blue crystals, some iridium and Sornstar Kaisenite kind of thing. So here, uh, here's what you get, yellow crystal, right? And let's take a look at that. Uh, this is totally accessible to every noob who ever comes to Siren. Tons of yellow crystal and yellow crystal by itself has a mark of about 105% which by itself wouldn't be profitable for you in your mining endeavors. 111% generally is the accepted number for uh, profitability in mining. And so 105, I mean, you could get some of your ped back, uh, you know, from your mining endeavors. But all you have to do is refine two of those yellow crystals and you now have super adhesive, which is trading at 120 plus percent. Now that seems like, wait, that's huge. Is that real? Well, look at it. We're all the way out into the year at 121%, and then the decade 130%. So there's definitely some reality to super adhesive being worth quite a bit of markup, more than that 111% that you would have needed to turn a profit. So you could just sell super adhesive and mine yellow crystal and be, well, well on your way to uh, profitability just doing that on Cyrene. But there's so much more than that. I want to show you the auction house. Okay, so let's look at the auction house for yellow crystal and see how many people are selling yellow crystal to two offers, one of which 105 to 107% markup. And that jives with the, you know, the day, the week, the month, roughly. So that 105% in six days should be just, it's 50 ped, so it may not sell right away, but it probably will in the next week or so. And then the other is 110%, unless somebody's really desperate and wants to pay that kind of markup yeah you probably won't see it but that's all right at least there is at least one offer for yellow crystal let's look at super adhesive well there are three offers from yellow crystal and it just ha so happens to turn out it's the exact same avatar uh selling all all of these offers but so 108 216 percent that's about 15 ped so yes 15 ped buyout perfect right or 100 uh, maybe that's yeah it's 15 ped buyout for that and then there's another uh, 117 to 127 percent and then a much larger order right okay so but we can see that it does sell in the week at 121 percent maybe only five ped worth but that's still pretty good that's still at least saying there's some sort of market there's 53 ped worth in the month so you can sell super adhesive you just have to be savvy and that's what this one avatar is doing also this avatar is playing a little bit of a game to see if somebody wants to buy, you know, four ped worth at, at 168% markup. I think that's a little bit gougy, but that's what the market will bear sometimes. But I don't want you to be uh, just solely stuck on the idea that you were just going to mine up yellow crystal and then convert it to super adhesive and sell that because I want to show you what you could do with your leftover animal muscle or animal oil residue from hunting and said super adhesive, you can make Ozpin matrixes. And well, Ozpin matrix sell at 141% in the month. And again, not a tremendous amount of them selling, but they have sold in the week at greater than 140% markup. So now you have, after your hunts, you have all of this leftover animal oil residue and you're your mining, you've got super adhesive that you've refined from yellow crystal, and you can turn that into crafting experience and more ped uh, than you would normally get from 
just say the super adhesive or the animal uh, oil residue by itself. But where do you get the blueprint for this? Well, actually, it's a one-pack blueprint. As with all of the Sirene service centers, there's a blueprint terminal in there somewhere, usually by one of the doors. You could call them Turlion Blueprints, Ozpin Matrix Blueprint, one pack. Don't pay more than a peck for this, unless you want a quality 100 rating. Um, one of these, but I, if you're a noob, obviously you wouldn't do that. But look, we have a lot of them in here. Ozpin Filters, there's uh, Armor Plating, you know. This is the place to go check the technician blueprint machine first before you do any other blueprint buying because so many of the blueprints you will want are right here for one pack inside each and every service. All right, let's go back to the construction terminal and look up one more thing. So one of the daily uh, uh, missions from Ron Sophocus is the Ozpin filter. And you only have to make one each day and you get the credit for the uh, for that mission, uh, which I'll, it's been shown in a lot of other videos. But let's look at the markup. So in the month, the markup is around 114%. So that's still viable. This is a mission you're going to do anyway. And so as you slowly build up your stack of Ozpin filters, you can turn around and sell them. And they sell in the week for a lot larger than 114%, but I think you can guarantee yourself right around 114% markup on these as you complete the daily missions for that particular uh, deal for Ron Sophocus. Let's look at one more. As you're doing your construction, sometimes certain blueprints will drop. You can get a bonding liquid blueprint, and look what you need for bonding liquid. Super adhesive and vibrant sweat. Any noob can get super adhesive and vibrant sweat. Sometimes you're going to get these uh, limited blueprints with 11 clicks. I just happen to have an unlimited one that I've been using uh, when I'm not using my uh, limited blueprints. So you could sell these as well. So those those limited ones can sell as well. But look at the, look at the markup on this. <laughs> Bonding liquid in the month, 169 percent. And that and that translates over and over and even into the year. A little high in the week, but that's that's OK. Does it sell a lot? No, not necessarily, but this is something you could do over time and you build up your stock and then you sell it knowing you're savvy, knowing when to sell and, you know, who's buying at what time. And that's the one last trick I want to show you before we end this video. And that final trick is know how to use the auction house bids button. It's the uh, third column in from the right. You click it once and it tells you in descending order the most bids to the least number of bids and you can go through there and say oh look bone is selling at 300 300 and some odd percent markup and then we can see siren mission tokens are here red molten crystal tail tip clear crystal low grade power supply imperium cube imperium key cube rainbow crystal these are the things that are selling look bone 300 some odd percent markup noob mission killing a rats right that's just it's very very available to you here on planet Sirate. so don't learn to use the learning to use the auction house is really important and becoming that savvy is important as well and that's all i really wanted to say this is noob heaven because you can be a noob play on Sirene, and still profit Thank you all for watching. I hope this was helpful. Ciao for now.